Welcome back to Swiss Family Fun. I'm Tanya and today I'm hiking over the Cernan Pass. This is south of Luzern and this is part of the Via Alpina. And today I'm going to do about a 14 kilometer trek from the out from Altdorf to Engelberg, but I'm actually going to shorten it. So I'm going to take a cable car on both sides. So if you like what you see, I will put a link in the description below to our website where I have all the details for this hike, including a hiking map. And now let's get on the trail. Nice path here with cables on the side. Good job. You've done it correctly. I'm exhausted. I've only gone two kilometers. It's like straight up. I'm trying to keep a really good pace because I want to get home to go out with my friends tonight. So we'll see how it goes. Wow, I can't believe how beautiful it is. Even if you just come up here for the view and go back, I think it would be worth it. I woke up this morning not knowing where I was gonna go, found whatever train connection to the place I hadn't been that was closest and cheap. Here I am. So like once a summer, my brain says, I want to climb a mountain. My body's like, uh, maybe. And my brain's like, we got this. We're going to do it. And so today is mind over matter. I don't know why my brain thinks I can do this because I'm pretty tired. So steady. So steady. I can see the rest of the trail up to the pass and the sign says one hour and I don't think it looks that bad. So I looked at a lot of pictures of the trail before I came because I don't like to get in a situation where I have to scramble up uh, using chains to get up things. I think that's not the case here. There are some cables and chains to just protect you but as far as I can it's been fine like a totally normal trail so far and what I can see looks normal so now I feel more calm because I was really prepared to turn around at any time on this trail that I felt uncomfortable and right now it looks good. Okay I'm making good time. It's 11 30. I have one more hour to the pass it says. It's a pretty good pace. Okay it's getting really rocky here. I might ha have to change the tips on my hiking sticks for this part. Okay, I'm glad to see that this is not particularly dangerous. This part is so steep really hard because there's not a lot of switchbacks and my watch that's tracking my pace it like says zero because I'm moving so slow I hope this is the top because if it's not I'm gonna throw a temper tantrum Yay! <laughs> to the top of the pass. I'm so excited. I beat the estimate from the last sign by at least 10 minutes. I feel like I wasn't barely walking. I mean, I was just throwing myself up the mountain. Now we're going to hustle down. I am so happy with myself that I decided to do this trail. I was second guessing up until after I'd gotten off the gondola and was looking at the trail. I just didn't know if I'd have enough time, if it was the right trail for me. I had read a lot, but I didn't feel like I had all the information I needed. And I am so over the moon. I'm so happy. And I wanna just keep hiking on the Via Alpena and never stop. And maybe I can make that happen. <laughs> but maybe not today. <laughs> The 
think this is black enough. On the website it says they were not serving food, just cheese. They're not open, but you can get one of these drinks and put money in the little thing, in the cow. One of the dairies, it's on the Alpine Dairy Trail or Alpine Cheese Trail. Okay, I can hear some cows unhappily mooing. And I just don't want to be a part of it. Look, look at this. I really don't understand how that little string is keeping all those cows from killing me, but I guess thankful. Now we have a last uphill section and we're gonna try and keep the energy up and a good pace. Oh, that climb out knocked me out. I'm exhausted. If I had more time, I would definitely just take the trail that leads down into the valley and skip going back up to the cable car. It's just, I'm tired and I'm almost at 14K. I, I just think I would go down, but today I don't have time. So this is where we're going. made it to Fury now, so happy. And I beat the SMS. I hope you enjoyed this hike over the Cernan Pass and I hope you're inspired to do it yourself. I will put a link in the description below to our website where I have all the details for this hike including a trail map and directions on how to get here and I hope you come back to see more hiking in Switzerland.